All right, so uh, what are we doing today? Well, uh, last time we had... Right, last time we were setting up to figure out the mappers of hash maps so I can delete them. And I think a problem that we ran into was that these these walkers, they, um, well, the hash map won't allow us to delete because uh, when we loop through it, we have to get a mutable reference to it. But that means we have to give ownership of that. And so no matter how, like if I wrap the walker in, um, in like a walker enum and then throw that into the the hash map or a vector or any other kind of data structure i run into the problem where i can't actually delete it on the same pass that i'm i'm eating it and i think that's just something i'm gonna have to uh accept and and maybe maybe the best way to deal with this is to wrap the walker wrap the food oh wait um wrap the walkers maybe in in a walker uh sort of struct then we'll create a whole bunch of different walkers from there and then then i can just like store the walkers into a vector inside of that and then just run the um run the functions so the the, the functions will have to be separated so I won't be able to do like this all in one go like we have here. Is it here? Well, it's it's an attempt to do that, but it's um that's the irrefutable pattern from the enum, I believe. What uh the the problem here, this is the problem. We can't really remove it inside of the loop because the walkers has been consumed by someone else. And I can't really give it a, a mutable reference so some tricky stuff we might be able to do but I, I haven't been able to think about it in uh but since Wednesday so I'm thinking um and I'm gonna turn this on so if if any of you are out there and you're watching live I do have this twitch highlighter thing you can do bang and then a line and a line number and it will highlight the line and then of course uh, because the extension isn't uh, doesn't allow me to remove those lines, I'll need you to remove them too with bang uh, line bang line number. Um, so, with that, chat is working because I got that I got the chat message from the the bot. Cool. Let's uh, let's go ahead and create like a walker structure, and then we can sort of begin bringing those into there. So in a way, in a way I want to create a, a walkers folder. So I think it's uh, walkers. And inside of that, it's going to be live.rs. So we'll have a pub struct uh, walkers. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily need anything to do in here. Uh, I do want to like make sure it works properly. So implement uh, for walkers pub function new walkers, and I just want to maybe maybe we'll just throw it like a well, I'll throw a debug in. Do I need to throw a debug in here? I don't think I really do because it, if it gets it properly, it will it will see like this new from here. So all I'm really gonna do is just return a walkers like that, and we'll we'll fill this out later the rest of the way. So what I, what I want to do is also take our random walker and put that inside of walkers. Now that will cause all sorts of fun problems uh, because everything's sort of expecting it to be in the same folder but now it's gonna be in walkers. So if I now do mod, I think it's instead of random walker, if I do mod um, walkers, um, oh, mod.rs, okay, so that's, that's what it is. It's not live.rs. We 
we find it now? Uh, file not found for module walkers. Okay, so walkers slash mod.rs inside the directory source. Okay, well, I have that. And I would want to use walkers walkers. So it's able to find this. I wonder if this is just like leftover. Um, okay, yeah, so this is this is working now. So I, I should be able to do like walkers new to, to create that. Now random walker, so I'm just going to delete, delete that for right now. Uh, enum walker, we don't need this. I'm going to be storing those all inside of the walkers struct. So I don't need hash map. The food is going to be fine. Although I might want to have a foods as well to do the same thing. I think, I think this should be fine here. In the game struct, foods will be fine. Okay, so walkers are actually now going to be just walkers. You know, my ticks per energy loss, this should probably be in the walkers now. Whereas library is really just going to be bringing everything together and then running it. And it's not going to care about the logic of it, which is going to be all inside of these other structs. Okay, so then coming down, we have our game. We get our window width and our window height. We create our foods. We create 100 foods right now. And so here they're inserting the walkers and creating that. We don't need to do that. So our walkers is actually going to be walkers new. And ticks for energy loss, that's going to be handled inside of walkers. Okay, so slowly, slowly sort of like migrating over to this new system. Uh, okay, so the event handler for the game. Well, so this is going to be looping through all the walkers, having them walk and eat uh, and spend energy. Katali, hello, good morning. Um, I did get your message uh, yesterday, and we we will be we will be working with that today. Uh, so Katali uh, told us about uh, he actually had uh, a family member look at the uh, the app that we created, specifically the food, because we were trying red and green food. So green for sort of like healthy, you know, food, and red for like poisonous food. And uh, he had so he has a family member who is red, green, uh, colorblind, and they looked at it and they kind of could tell the difference between them, but it was not not very big. So the recommendation is to use blue for the poison, which that kind of makes sense. Also, like blue, like if you had blue food, would you want to eat it? I mean, it probably is poison. So all of this stuff. We're now going to replace this. So it's just like all we want the walkers to do is, is walk, eat, spend their energy and spend their energy and then like die. So uh, let's see what um, this is going to be self dot walkers dot. And essentially it's just like we just want them to update. And they'll they'll handle like walking and eating. We may have to um, we may have to like hand them stuff. We could also do things like okay, we want them to you know 
We want them to move. Oh, not probably move. We want them to walk. Uh, stuff that walkers that eat. So we want them to eat after they walk around. Um, stuff that walkers that we want them to die. I just don't know if I want that to be all there, or if I just want to say, um, just essentially like update. I think I like update for right now. We'll probably have to pass them the food. So that way they can like eat and, and all that. We don't need this dead IDs. We're not really using it now. Okay, and then we have draw. Okay, so for food and foods. So we're going to draw all the foods out. And then we want to, this is going to be drawing all the walkers. Well, we're going to have potentially a lot of different walkers that are coming from the walkers. Um, the walkers struct. I'm wondering if if it would be better for me to just like return a a vector of like the walker meshes. So what's the point in this ID? I'm not sure. But what if I just do for walker in self dot walkers dot draw. So I'm just going to call draw on it. I should get an I should get an iterated something back. So I'm thinking the vector. Then I'll check. Okay, so if oh, so this this was going to be grabbing it from the uh, the enum, which I think is actually going to be correct. We're going to want to grab this from the enum. Well, actually, are we? No, we're going to just going to have a bunch of. Um, we're not going to have the enum here. We're not going to have the walker, each walker directly. We're going to have just the meshes already here. So all we have to do is just draw it. So we'll just graphics.draw context. This will be the walker. And wherever it wants to go, we won't really care. And then that's it. Of course, draw doesn't exist. So that's cool. All right, self walker update, self walkers draw. Miguel, good morning. Um, I'm doing, I think I'm doing good. I didn't get very much sleep last night because I was up late at the uh, the Node.js meetup that I was running. Uh, I ended up talking with a, a mentor of mine about uh, business type things. So specifically how as a software developer um, slash like I'm, I'm moving up the track into management, how how I can like help affect a business outside of like the IT department. Because I I tend to, well, we tend to be isolated. And so I, I figure like th there's better ways. And it can make a stronger company if we figure that out. So he gave me some ideas, which I'm actually like sort of percolating through. And, and I'm, I'm, I have some, I have some cool like thoughts about where that, where that can go. Um, okay, so that means all we need is update and draw and of course the new uh, to be good too. So in our mod, we're now going to like make that happen. So we know we need update. So pub function update. Um, we're not going to return anything from update. We know we need a mutable reference to self. And we also need draw. Well, with draw, we know that we're going to return a mesh. So, so let's go graphics. Uh, so we want a mesh and a mesh builder. 
Oh, and a game result. Okay, so uh, the only error we have here is this update. Oh, and, and then a draw. Uh, actually, wait a second. The draw is where we return the mesh. The update, we don't return anything at all. So this is also, well, we're not going to mutate anything, are we? So we could just get a reference to self. Uh, I think we need, we're going to need the context. which is going to be a mutable reference to the context. And we're going to return a game result, game result of a mesh. All right. So those are our basic, uh, basic functions here. Now I haven't, so I, I removed the mod from like the other walker. So I'm, I'm thinking we need to use that here. So if I do mod, uh, it's going to be random walker. Hey, it, it just found it right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Source walkers, random walker. So I'll need to use that too. Okay. So we're going to use random walker. So here's my thought. We can we can go ahead and use the the flag on each of the walkers uh, if they're dead or not. And then we'll just in our update, we'll just have to loop through the vector and we'll hide that away in here. So that way we uh we don't have to worry about it too much. So we're gonna create a new walker, uh, which means we need uh we need that enum. So I already deleted the enum, didn't I? Well, it's, it's that's fine. So this is this is no longer public. Now this is just going to be private enum. How do you pronounce enum? Um, I I was at a meetup the other day and somebody pronounced enum as enum. Um, or enum, which I was it sort of caught me off guard a little bit because I've just so been so used to calling it enum, but I realized that I haven't actually heard very many other people pronouncing that. I've mostly read it in books. Okay, so this is going to be a... It's like walker type. I mean, a rocker wrapper. I'm not sure what what I want to call that. And then probably they said enum with the accent on the U. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it sounded like. But it was somebody who has a lot more experience with Rust than I do. Uh, they actually were, were working professionally with it for a while. So if, if anything, I would almost, uh, defer to them, except I don't know. I feel like just keeping saying enum because I'm, I'm used to that. <laughs> uh, so what I don't know, I guess this is just going to be like a random walker. Uh, with a type, is it colon? I think it's colon. I can't remember anymore. Uh, which is the random walker. Oh no, it's uh, the parentheses.
Oh, so Miguel, uh, you've been busy Wednesday with the collections problem. In the end, you you ended up with some sorting algorithm that pushes the dead bots to the end of the vector without rearranging the whole. So that's a that's a pretty cool rest um, vector feature. And then you sliced it off, but and nothing extraordinary. And eventually went full circle back to hash maps, and then rage quit. Um, so my my current plan because like I. I didn't go that far into it. Um, I just sort of looked at like hash map ways to do it, and that mm, I couldn't figure that out. Maybe somebody who has a lot more Rust experience uh, with a borrow checker would be able to help me. I'm thinking right now we'll just mark them mar um, as dead or not, and then actually we don't need to mark them as dead. They, we already know if they're dead or not based upon their energy by setting that to zero or, or negative. And then we will go to, um, uh, we'll map through the vector, reassign it to itself. Or no, we'll filter. We'll filter through the vector and then just basically filter out the ones that don't have life. Uh, and that should, that should be a pretty easy way for us to, to remove them. From, from that vector. It's not gonna be like a super efficient way of doing it, but at, I think it's gonna be the probably the best developer-friendly way to do it. So that way we, we have the least number of bugs. Okay, so we have our walker here. Um, yeah, that's, that's the only thing I can think of. So we're gonna have a vec of walker. which means in here, we're gonna to want to create, so we have our, um, so walker, uh, walker vectors. Actually, we could probably just do this straight in here. So we're gonna have a, a walker, oh, I need to like actually name this something. Can I just name this walkers? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Give me a vector. Okay, so the first, the first one we throw in here, uh, this is going to be our random walker new. So we're gonna need okay the arena width. So let's go ahead and bring these things in. So this is like arena height. I actually think that we can just combine these together. So arena size, which is actually gonna be a tuple of F32. We have the random number generator. Oh, so that's the thread RNG, so. Oh, do I have, um, oh. There, bring in the prelude. Red RNG is that type. Um, oh, and then the, so this, this ID U8, I, we're no longer gonna need that at all. Uh, is there a way to splice a vector in Rust? I, I thought I saw that before in the documentation. Uh, so let's see. Is it docs.rust? I don't think... Uh, docs dot rest lang. Doc dot rest dash lang dot org. Okay, so that's what I'm missing. 
Uh, let's go to vector. Or actually, it's, I guess, a vec. So here's the splice. So this looks like it's a mutating. So it, it actually mutates. There's also this, oh, that split off. I, saw, I thought I saw it say splice off. You know, you could also just do split off and keep one of them, but I think splice might be the best in that case. Ooh, there's truncate. All right, this is probably the best, truncate. Shortens the vector, keeping the first length elements and dropping the rest. So even better than splice, truncate. I will not be doing that because I probably am not going to uh, to sort them just to just to be easier. Um, all right, so we have our thread range. I don't think we need the. Oh right. Um, so you need to be immutable. Uh, okay, so that means we need to now pass in the proper things for here. You're upset. Let's um, let's just bring in arena size. So we can just do dot zero arena size dot one. Um, we have our RNG then. So you're upset because uh, I did not bring in the ID. So let's go change that. Whoa, nope, not that. Come on. There. So in new, we don't care about the ID in here, which means we don't care about you here. We don't care about you here. Uh, I don't think I care about you anywhere else. Okay, so Walker's new. This takes uh, the arena size and the random number generator. That's easy to do. I have that right now. Um, we're kind of, so I can kind of like just use the same thing here. So just go arena size and arena size dot zero, arena size dot one. We'll eventually pass an arena size to that too, so that way we won't have to do that separately. So now uh, window width is actually arena size. I mean, I think that we should probably just store this as arena size. So it's gonna be a, a tuple of F32, F32. Arena size. I could treat a dead robot like a nun. Well, so I could. Um, I could put an option in there. Uh, my my vector could potentially just keep the same size, though. It would never like be smaller. Yeah, and then I could just grab it out. Already, I'm gonna have to do that because of the um, the enum for the different. 
uh, the different bots. So then I'd have to do like an if let and then an if let inside of that too, which I'm not sure if that's that's a good pattern. I'm going to try it the way we sort of thought of it first, and if that doesn't work, we could try the the option. Uh, OK, so now, now we know this. We need the arena size, and we need the RNG. So three errors still. Uh, this function takes one parameter, but zero parameters were defined right because you take a context. Uh, well, we have context. We can do that. Mismatch types expected. Uh, the enum walkers walker, but found struct. So whereas this is in mod or s for here. Oh, right. OK, so I need to actually do random walker. No. Uh, walker, random walker. And then inside of here, we'll do random walker new, uh, the arena size. So arena size dot zero and then RNG. Then we have a mismatch types um, expected. Oh yeah, so I haven't actually returned the thing. So it uh, looks like we're 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 done with all of our errors. We can now start like just drawing these and updating them. So we can we can just avoid updating it for right now, and we'll just draw it out. Uh, have it on a stream of like whatever random location it is. Um, so our random walker, we. Well, we know that we're going to have a vectors of these random walkers. The random walker, it has its draw already, which is returns the mesh for the walker itself. So I can say let um, walker meshes an empty vector. Then we can loop through our own um, walkers. So So now we have we have these. Now we're going to need to if let to get the to get them out. Ooh, that's a really good question, uh, Nikito. Can I just map through this because it's just a vector here? Yeah, I think I can. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay, so let's let's try this. We're going to self dot walkers dot uh, map, um, and then I need to look through how map works. Right, we need to iter like convert it into iterator and then map. So yeah, dot iter. I remember just as, just as you told me. So we're going to convert it into iterator. Then we're going to map through this. Uh, and then we're going to just take a closure. I think, if I remember correctly, it's, so it's been a while since I've done a closure. I think it's just pipe and then whatever's coming in. So that will be like the walker. And then. Um, like this just gets returned, like whatever I have here. Do I need curly brackets? So where's my iter?
There's my iter. And where's my map? Hmm. Okay, how about just map? Uh, if it's just one expression, I do not need this. If it's more than one, I do. Okay, so I think, well, it's going to be one expression, but it's going to be maybe a little bit more complex. So I wonder, well, let's just try this and see how it feels like. I'm going to want to do a mesh builder. Oh, no, I don't. I This is, this is actually pretty simple. I just need to say return walker.draw. That's all. And draw takes in, come on, you want to tell me? A context. And so this is no longer a game result of a mesh. This is now a vec of, um, I guess, a vec of meshes. So a vec of, I should also just question mark this. Do I want a question mark at this point? So then I'll just say it's, it's a vec of meshes and not a vec of game results of meshes. Uh, expect destruct vect found struct standard iter map. Okay. So you didn't, you didn't return what I thought you did. Oh, then I have to collect it together at the end. Oh, I forgot about that. See, all these things that I forgot about working with, with like maps. Now you, oh, okay, because this has to return at, so I have to return, so here we go. This has to be a vec of, yeah, so just return for, okay, so we're gonna return a game result that has a mesh in it. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, what are you upset about? No method name draw for type reference to walker so can i dereference it oh so let's let's take a look so we're iterating through these walkers uh that's these so i need to if let inside okay so this this is going to be a little bit more complicated unfortunately so i'm gonna i'm gonna just multi-line this here Might be easier for us to look at it if I do this. Okay, so we take in a walker, but this is gonna be the walker enum here. So we now have to if let, uh, and it's gonna be, uh, what is it? Um, walker, right, random walker. So that'll be our, our walker there equals walker. Oh, dereference it also. So that way I'm working with like the actual value. Okay, so I'm gonna get, get the walker from this and then I'm gonna return walker dot draw and hand it the context. Oh, and oh, still, I don't want to do like a question mark. Um, Cause that will then just be the game result. Now, what are you upset about? Right, so I'm missing an else clause. Uh, so otherwise, 
you know, I'm thinking matching this would probably be best eventually because I'm I'm gonna have like multiple walkers. But for right now, we only have one. So this if let else is probably the way that works. Um, and then I'm going to I need to return a game result. Actually, I think I can just do okay. Oh, but it's like a mesh. So. Well, you know, we only have this one. Um, oh, what, what is it called? Un, unimplemented or not reachable. It's like, can I just, is that like the name of the function? Not reachable. Or unreachable. Indicates unreachable code. Yeah, so this will all, it will panic. Do I pass it in anything? No, it just, okay, so it just panics. Oh, and it's a macro. So it's bang. Unreachable, like that. Uh, if let, oh yeah. So I looked, um, I looked a couple times ago. If let actually works with any any enum, and since an option is essentially an enum with two arms, the sum and the none, uh, that's kind of how it works. But most people only use if let with uh, with options, but you could definitely use it with any enum. Oh, really? They return a bang, which is the never type, which lets you put it anywhere and type checks. I did not know that. I do like the fact that, well, it's also telling the compiler it's going to just crash right here. So it doesn't need to worry about anything else. It's just going to like force the crash the system. No weird other things are going to happen. So this returns the walker draw, which is this game result mesh. All right, um, we don't need our mesh builder because we're not building the meshes at this point. So what errors do we have? Um, the trait bound mesh mesh is not satisfied. Oh, this is in our primary um, library. Okay, so So for Walker, oh, so we need to we need to um, a question mark this because oh uh, yeah so th this is I don't think I can do I mean I can't do this I don't think oh okay so cannot borrow as mutable it's behind. Um, okay, so I, I need to borrow there. Can I, where do I need to dereference that? Oh, wait, can I just borrow it as mutable here? So like mute like that. The question mark operator can only be applied to values that implement try the question mark. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm trying to do this in like multiple lines. I don't think that's a good idea. So what if I just shadow the walker here and I just say like let walker equals and then we just say walker question mark like that. Is 
Now you are like that. Let's can I just say mute self? Um, okay, so it can't be mutable there. Can I dereference it? No, we, we could try to dereference it. Um Oh, that's interesting. I could try, I could filter it. Oh, so now I'm in the mod. Now, now this is, okay, so cannot borrow walker is mutable as it's behind a reference. So where, where is, where exactly is that? That's, here. Now, can I, can I just say like it's a mute? Like, I don't think I can, I can tell it to be a mute walker. Mismatch types, types differ in mutability, so no. Um, I'm using wrong if let. That walker, we're gonna grab in there. Only works for options. No, that's definitely not true. You can definitely use if lets with with any enum. The error we're getting is is for something else. Yeah, so this is what we're getting here. Is this walker is sort of red? Oh, so try it or mute to like get her get that way. That's probably a good idea. So we'll have the it or mute. Oh, right, because the draw needs to mutate it. Okay, so self waters cannot bar borrow self the walkers. So, okay, my attempt to do that as not mutable did not work. There we go. All the errors going. Apparently, draw is mutating the walker. I didn't know. Uh, draw has a mutate self. It's a good question, but I'm guessing yes. Yeah, look at this. Um, oh wait, no, that's that's mine. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but no, no errors anymore. So we'll come back to here. I think we're drawing it. Let's try running it. I may have like forgotten something. It's you know th there was a lot of code there that we changed without changing like without testing anything. But here. Our walker is now drawn on the screen. So perfect. Uh, so now what I want to do is get it get it moving again. So in our mod, we now have our update. So what happens here in, in our, our walk? So that's going to be the first thing we do is just walk it around. Um, so we need the random number generator. Uh, the arena width and the arena height. That's that's all. So, walk is next. So let's go ahead and loop through this. We can use mash this time. So, what is this? This is, um. Oh, we can also just do a for each, can't we? Because that exists on on iterators, this is gonna be immutable. So we're gonna do self dot uh, walkers dot iter mute. So we'll do do this again. Uh, dot for each. Do you agree that you exist? Yes. Okay. So it calls a closure. So we're gonna get a walker in here. Um, we're not gonna worry about collecting or anything else. So for each of these walkers, uh, we want to now run walker dot, oh wait, so we need to now match on walker. So we want to match on walker 
So this is going to be a walker, random walker, walker. Okay, so now we have this. So walker dot uh, walk. And everything else, which is unreachable. Actually, I don't know if it's going to yell at us because we're just we're just doing this one. Now walk takes three function three parameters, uh, which are not defined here, but we just looked at them. The RNG and the arena width. So that means we need RNG and the arena size. All right, I think that should I should that should be good. That should cause it to to randomly walk around. Oh, I guess no no semicolon. That's interesting. I thought it would allow a semicolon because I'm not really returning. Oh, right, because we're in a match. The match gets semicolon. The for each gets that gets semicolon. Okay, so now this update needs to be updated properly. So we need RNG and arena size. So like that. No errors, just a couple warnings, but that's expected. Let's see it move around. And there we go. So it is moving slowly. Won't that move the RNG? Um, I think, is it moving the RNG or is it, it's probably cloning the RNG. All right, so we're, we're moving, we're moving this. So what's what's next? In a random walker, we have our walk. Uh, we also so that's going to keep it in arena. We also have eat, spend energy, and then uh, spend energy will well, okay. So we need to eat now, uh, and eat takes a reference to all the food. And then we're going to spend energy as it moves, right? Because we're going to potentially spend energy only every once in a while. We can spend energy right away to see it go down like in size quickly, but let's, uh, let's eat first, which means we need the foods. So here in this, in update. So we now know we need to pull in all the foods here. Let's go ahead and pass that in. So update, we pass in uh, the foods, so self.foods. It's just a, a mutable reference, so probably only need to pass in a reference to that. In the mod, we take in a reference to the self.foods. Okay, so foods. Uh, I think it's a mutable reference to foods. Um, oh, so I, which means I need, uh, let's see, this is actually a vec of 
use crate food. And then, so we first walk or walk. Okay, so now you need So we have walker walk, and now we're gonna have walker dot eat, uh, which is just the foods. A crate of food, yes. Uh, okay. Now this only really works for us if oh you have we have an error. Uh, typer types differ in mutability. Expect to type reference mute a food just found reference. Oh, it doesn't need to be mutable. Okay. Never mind. Oh no, it, it does need to, okay, so wait. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. Hey, look at that. It's eating the food. So it got over it. It got bigger. So the, the eating part is fine. It removed the food and it deleted it. So that's all working perfectly. Then our random walker, we're going to, after it eats, it needs to spend energy. Um, I've got Agario. Yeah, it kind of, well, so uh, to be honest, when I first decided to do this, like the first thing that came to my mind was Agario, but like just full of little AIs eating each other. Um, all right, so next we're going to spend energy. So to spend the energy, um, I want to do this every X, like every N uh, ticks of the game, which means I need to pass in uh, the timer. So uh, the timer in library. I think I got rid, did I get rid of that? I think it's like GG Easy just timer. And I think it's just gonna be like timer dot oh colon colon. Oh right. I know why I didn't use timer because it's lowercase. And sort of my although there there's a graphics there. I'll just I'll just keep it in for right now. Okay, so timer colon colon ticks, and then I have to pass in context. The ticks returns a U size of the number of ticks since the last one. So in mod here, we're gonna take in a ticks, which is a U size. So now here, let's do if ticks um, modulus, like we'll just do one for right now and we can change this to like 100. If that is equal to zero, then oh, we want the walker to uh, spend energy. I'm a little bit sad that like because of what I'm doing with uh, the enum that it's not able like it, it's not finding um, what I want to spend this on spent energy doesn't take anything in
So now we should see it reduce in size pretty quickly and, and die. Yep, there, there went. Now it comes back in a negative because of weirdness. So in order to prevent that, when it spends the energy, uh, that size just goes down. So as soon as my size hits zero or, or less than zero, I need to kill it. Now is dead just checks that here. So we're gonna run all of this. Now after update, so we have the self that walkers, we mute, we go through there. Now we're gonna to want to um, filter through each of these, um, each of these. Now for each returns an iterator or what does it return? Nothing. I don't think it returns. I don't think it returns anything. Okay, so I think I'm gonna have to do another another one down here. So that that's fine though. So we're going to say uh, self dot walkers um, equals self dot walkers dot so dot iter mute. Uh, dot filter uh, and in filter we're going to take in a walker um, and then for the walker we want to keep this well of course it's inside of this if let here so we're going to match this so we're going to match on uh, the walker Um, and if we are a walker, random walker, um, so yeah, this, this is where it gets like a little bit complex here. I kind of wonder if like, if I, if I create a function separately as a first class citizen and then pass that in. That might be a little bit easier to deal with, but the idea is that I I just need to know if I'm going to if I'm getting a true or false. So I'm grabbing a walker out, and I want to turn um, walker dot is dead. And there's really nothing else. Uh, and then I want to dot collect the results. What are you upset about? Uh, a collection of type standard vec walkers walker cannot be built from an iterator over elements of type mute walkers walker. A collection, okay. So for help, the trait is not implemented. Standard iterator from iterator mute walkers walker is not implemented for standard vec walkers walker. Okay. I was able to collect, oh, right, because it's not that. Into vec, maybe. Let's try that. No method name into vec. Uh, let's see. Let's see what. So filter returns an iterator. We need to convert it back into the vector. Mm. 
Now I could I could like maybe assign this to something else and then like collect it later. But all right, so we, we start with a vector of the enum walkers. We convert that into an iter a mutable iterator, iterator. We then filter through that where we take each enum walker, match on that, get the specific walker out, and then return uh, true or false based upon if it's dead or not. So that's going to be our filter. Now, after that, we get a iterator of these enums back. I need to now convert that into a vector. Now, I think it's saying that I just need to derive something. So collection of type cannot be built. The trait from iterator is not implemented for a vec of walkers. Uh, I could use flatten and then collect. Ooh, would flatten work? Let's try it. Oh, that definitely didn't. Well, okay. Um, wait, it's not an iterator? Wait, what what is filter return? Okay, mismatch types. Expected struct vector found struct filter. Okay, so I thought is it is an iterator filter. So let's see what we have here. So there is collect, transforms an iterator into a collection. So I wonder if I, I don't think I need to turbo fish that. I think it's something else. So for our filter, we need to get it into a vector. Well, so collect, when I have collect here, we get another error. So a collection of type standard vec vec walkers walker. Um, cannot be built from an iterator over elements of type reference mutable reference to walkers walker. Now, is it because it's been consumed? Try enter iterator instead of iterator mute. I thought I would need it to be um, mutable, but we could we could try. Uh, which one? This one. Dot into iterator. Yeah, so here it's cannot move out of self walkers, which is behind a mutable reference. Move occurs here because self walkers has type, which does not implement the copy trait. Now I could just copy this. Um, I could clone it. Replace it with an empty vector. So move the walkers vec out of self that walkers, replace it with an empty vector. Okay, so I could just say like uh, alive walkers. 
So I can just do that for right now. No field, alive walkers. Oh, uh, so let's just do let for right now. Type annotations needed. Okay, so we know that you are a vec of uh, walker. Cannot move out of self walkers, which is behind a mutable reference. So it's the same. It's the same problem. Try let walkers equals standard memory replace. Uh, reference to a mutable reference to self that walkers and then vec. Huh. So it's like replace off of there. I don't know if I want to. If you want to do that now, I can't. I don't think I can like get a reference to it and then help that out. No. It's like expected struct vec found mutable ref found reference. I don't want is filter is filter move um walker and option. Well, so the walkers in inside are I don't think it's an option. Um I could clone, but no, so it's I don't think it's an option, uh Miguel. Change inner iter to just dot iter. We could we could try that. That's one thing I've I've never really learned is like the difference between iter iterator and iter. I don't know if that will make a difference. Uh, it still has like the same sort of problem with uh, with collections. Yeah, if I don't mind the clone, I could definitely clone. I think that may be what I have to do is clone. So if I if I clone this first. Now I don't think I can clone right now because I have to implement clone on it. So no method. Oh, no. Is it clone or is it copy? Um Oh, the clone method exists, but the following trait bounds were not satisfied. So I can derive copy off of which which thing? Self that walker. So I think off of here. Derive. Is it clone with capital? Or is it copy? Uh, okay, so what are you upset about? The trait copy may be implement may not be implemented for this type. The field does not implement this field does not implement copy. Oh, so we want clone. We do want clone. The trait bound walkers walkers done clone clone is not satisfied. Required because of the requirements of the implementation of clone for ah, so for center vec walker walker required by clone clone. So then, so I think that means I need to also derive clone here. And I'm probably going to need to derive it on the random walker as well. Yeah. So now here you're saying um, yeah, random walker clone. So here, so 
drive clone. Oh look, for some reason I had already brought in clone and clone, which I don't think I need. Okay, so I'm collecting the walkers. Then I'm iterating through them. Now, now you're still upset. A collection of type walker cannot be built from an iterator over elements of reference to walkers walker. A collection of type walker cannot be built from, okay, so then I need to so enter iterator now, now that I own the bag. Okay, let's try into iterator again. No more errors. All right. Yes, attack of the clones. Definitely. All right. So that should make it go away. So the, the hope is that when we run this now, the clone just dies as soon as it runs out of energy. You know what we failed to do? We failed to actually replace the clone. So yes, we need to reassign it back to self. I got I got excited that I forgot that what we had done here. So we need to reassign back to self.walkers. Uh I didn't even see that at all. Did it did it just like report itself dead instantaneously? Yeah, it's not there at all. Okay, so uh, my filter filters it out early. That's not, not the coolest thing. So we cloned it, we iter iterated it, we filter over it, so is dead now so is dead returns true if the size is less than or equal to zero i don't think the size was becoming zero right away and then we collect that back up again uh but for some reason it was it's just like gone immediately So what? Maybe do the time global. Maybe yeah, like maybe it's too fast. Uh I could try We yeah, it does seem to be filtering out the live walkers, uh which is definitely not what I want. Uh so let's see. Am I using I have the ticks there. Ticks. What if I do like 1000? So that shouldn't be spending like that. That should be very slowly spending the energy now. But it's still gone right away. You know, I wonder. So inside of here, I kind of want to uh, take a look at like Walker is dead. Do I not like the VS Code terminal? I mean, I guess I could do it in a terminal there. Uh, that's pro that would probably be fine. Uh, let's see. Let's try debug walker dot is dead let's see if any of them come back as as is alive even when we have this as a thousand so we can try this here usually i like the other terminal because it um if i get error messages like i want more room that that's usually what it is but if i do cargo run
I failed to save. Also, I got an error. Expected one of, oh, I'm in a match. I can't do that there. Uh, so I need you to be multiple things. Well, um, I'll debug walker that is dead and then return that. Will you let me do that? No. I have to multi lane this. No rules expected the token. Oh. Wait, so I'm in this match. Put. Mm. That doesn't feel right. Wait, I'm missing. Oh, I am missing. Okay, I didn't see that. Thank you for letting me know that. Um, all right, so no errors anymore. Okay, so definitely errors now. Uh, debug that. Now what? Save the file again. Err. Okay, got it. Thank you. Thank you, Miguel. So Walker is dead is false. It says false. I'm returning false. So if I'm returning false, why is the filter scrubbing that out? Or, hmm, maybe something's going on here. So what if I, what if I, okay, do new walkers again. So alive walkers, uh, which we know is going to be a vec of walker. And so after this, uh, type ascription. Oh, wait, not self. Let alive walkers equals that. Then I want to um, uh, just debug the alive walkers. So I don't need to debug you. I know that you're alive. Uh, doesn't implement so walkers walker doesn't okay so we can we can implement you can I just do comma debug okay so then you need to implement debug Uh, shouldn't the, oh, it's a bang line and bang line number. Okay. So this, this makes sense. The alive walkers just like instantaneously became, yeah, it, it never has anything in it. So our filter is a little bit overzealous. It's not working the way we want to. You filter the ones who are dead, right? Isn't the other way around. Um, oh, I want is alive. You're right. I want is alive. Ah. 
isn't math fun when you think of it in opposite turns? So I want is alive to be greater or equal to zero. So you will be walker is alive. I think, well, that, that should work, but we could check it. There we go. Okay. So now we see that that being good. So then we'll we'll put this back to now self dot walkers equals that. And we'll rerun up oh, self dot walkers. Um right. Debug is no longer needed. Uh, did I stop eating? Oh, I did. I need to, to put this back down to one again. So it spends energy quickly. And it's just gone. Okay, so our filter works when we do it, when we do the math correct. So of, of course. Um, yeah, so Miguel, I think it's a uh, bang line and then bang the line number to remove it. So it would be like bang line, bang 49. So I think you need one more exclamation point right before the 49 to make that go away. So we're finally removing the dead walkers. Perfect. Uh, so now we can maybe switch this to like 100. So every 100 ticks or so. And then the last thing. Um, oh, it's not big. Okay. Let me let me see. Yes, you got it. Um, I know, like it's it's not the the clearest of of tools to use, um, but it's really cool for what it does. So I, I definitely like it. Uh, okay, so we have that. You know what I want to do now is create two of them. Um, well, let, maybe before that, let's go into the readme. What what else do we? So kill the walker if it runs out of energy. We're done with that. Uh, start with less food, but add food every X ticks. That might be really nice, too. Uh, use delta time, sort of like make it a little bit more smooth. Wrap the screen so walkers are never stuck in the edges. That would be really nice, too. Uh, have the poison food actually act as poison. And different shapes for food types. Uh, that would be really nice, too. Um, I think we're going to have to do that next time. We're already at at time I can do I can do this one start start with less food but add food every x ticks so I, I can do that right now because uh, that will that will look very interesting so we will do um, in the library so I guess I'll sh I'll push this up right here which is um, walkers uh die when they run out of energy so in the library we're creating 100 food items i'm thinking that says like significantly too much let's try something like 20 food items in their total but in um You died, so let's let's bring you back to life again. Um, hey look, it actually got some food. Uh so we 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 push food in there, and then here we have update. 
So we're going to need to create a new food item and add that in every X ticks. You know my, what might be even better is count how many food items there are in the vector. And if there's less than 20, so like just only always have 20 items in here, but every, every 100 ticks, then we're willing to add another one in. Up oh, the uh, poor guy didn't live. I can add in another random walker here. So here's walker vec. I could just duplicate this line and that should give us two for free. And so now they're competing with the same food source. Once I get that wrapping around, it'll look so much better with them not just stuck at the edges. And they, they have a much higher chance than finding the food and eating it then. Um, but, okay, so I think, I think in order to properly have like, do add in the foods the way we want it to, we'll implement like a food structure. So I think we'll just leave that for next time. So, um, implement a food struct, uh, that takes care of adding food every n ticks. But we have imp started with less food. All right, so we have that. So we'll save that. Um, I'll push this on up. Uh, so let's see, um, starting with less food, push that on up. We'll do, how about this? One more run of this. And as soon as they, they both die, you know what we can do? We can, we can even make this more interesting. In mod here, uh, Let's do like, I don't know, three, four, five, uh, five of them. So we'll see how many of them survive. I forgot commas. So as soon as they're all dead, uh, let's also put back, we could just put back the, the 100 food. And as soon as they all die, uh, I'm gonna bring this stream to a close. Now I wish I color coded them and then then you could all um uh you know bet on which one's going to live uh for this case. I think in a future we're gonna have it so that they uh uh the ones of like the same species then you just bet on the species. It will also be much more interesting when the when the um, poison ones die, like kill them, or at least make them grow a lot smaller. And I'm probably, I'm thinking about having like the species don't eat each other, because that way it's like sort of a team effort almost. Um, but, uh, I think that's, that's all we're going to implement this, this stream. Uh, let me go ahead and while we're waiting, let's get this going up there. So we're not starting with less food. We're actually just going to have, um, uh, 
It's sort of like a battle arena with five uh, random walkers seeing who lives the longest. I'll push this on up. Uh, cool, you, you learned a lot this session? Awesome, that's what I like to hear. I learned, I learned a bunch too. Um, specifically about like the filter and the iterators. I still don't fully understand the difference between iter and into iter. Uh, I, you know, that's something that like I keep on, keep on like sort of, because the words are like, you know, iter and then into iter, they, they feel like they should be the same, but I know that they're, they're, they're different clearly. Um, what do I want to do? I want to go to GitHub. Here's my nature of code in Rust. And uh, there is a link to the code if you want to go take a look at that. If you're watching the VOD, of course, I'm going to put a link to the code also in the, the description. Um, iter is over immutable ref. Into iter takes ownership. Oh, right, because the into, okay, that makes sense. So it's, it's ownership versus not ownership. Okay, and then, but it's returning a new thing. So it consumes it, but creates a new one. And as long as it's of the same type, then we're fine. Okay, that, that, makes, that makes sense. Um, it looks like, ooh, it's gonna be a tie between these two. They're just slowly, slowly losing, uh, losing life there. You could have done iter and then cloned each walker inside of the map. Ooh, yeah, I probably could have. Um, that would make less derived clones. And then iter mute. So like get a reference. So iterate over a reference to each item as opposed to um, so a mutable reference as opposed to like moving them in. I thought I had tried to iter mute the first time, but maybe maybe I'd forgotten to try that. They're they're almost all dead. They're just sort of doing that thing where they just stay near the edges because, you know, a lack of wrapping. Next time we do wrapping, we'll have to get it right. Uh, that was sort of like not not the greatest like fun the first time we tried it, and then like they ended up wrapping weird ways because we got the math wrong. But uh, okay, so they're they're all um, they're all pretty much dead now. Looks like the this one I just sort of saw near the edge, but unfortunately they died. And you needed a vec type, not a vec reference to type. All right. Well, we do have it working right now, so I'm cool with that. Even though we are cloning it, I'm never going to have too many walkers, I don't think. But if we do, we can ref we can um, refactor it later. With that being done, uh, feel free to go take a look at the code. Um, uh, you know, fork it. You can do pull requests or write issues on it. I don't think we have any issues um, or anything else. I'm doing these streams on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 6.45 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, so my next stream obviously will be Monday and we'll be continuing on with this uh, and then sort of the, all of this one is getting the ecosystem sort of like set up later so that all we have to do is create new walkers um, and then they're going to have different traits and different like everything. Well, they're going to work differently from each other. Uh, and then they'll just sort of like battle it out as we continue going through the nature of code book. All right. 
with that, I'm going to go get ready for work. Um, and I hope that you all have a great day. And I will see you all next time. Bye.